Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is another one of my Betsy McCall dolls made by American Character in 1958 and 59. I have a lot of Betsy McCalls. As I'm going through all of my dolls, I'm like, wow, I have a lot of these dolls. And um, this particular uh, Betsy McCall, I think I have two of this variation. And um, I would consider this maybe one of the harder ones to find, along with the flirty eye. Um, this one I did get at an antique store whenever I see them in an antique store. Of course, first thing I look for is the condition of them uh, in regards to the price that I'm going to be paying. Usually, uh, Betsy McCall dolls are they're relatively expensive, but um, this one has, uh, she, I wouldn't say that she's in bad condition, but she's, um, I think that she might have had a slight haircut on the back. Uh, which didn't deter me a lot because the you know it's a Betsy McCall. It's uh, these dolls are really really uh, cool doll to collect. So uh, whenever I see one, I'm like, oh, can I afford that one? Um, so I do have one that is the same variation as this one. I believe I might have already done the uh, video on her as well. Out of the two of them, uh, the other one is in better condition, but um, um, they're made out of. Uh, vinyl and uh, hard plastic um, this particular one just has a back and forth head uh, back and forth uh, joint in the shoulder nothing in the arm and then um, a little bit of a ball joint in the uh, hip no other joints on this doll um, the smaller ones is uh, the uh, tiny Betsy McCall they have a lot of joints on uh, those particular dolls. These mid-sized dolls, I haven't seen one yet that has any joints. So I don't know, um, like uh, joints in the uh, elbows and in the knees. Um, she will be marked on her neck and it's probably going to be pretty hard to see that marking. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. And then quite possibly maybe one on the waist here no yeah this one is definitely marked on the head and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that it's so dark it's there <laughs> it is it is there um, and her dress is not this is a dress I did purchase her in uh, but I don't believe that it's an original um, it could be uh, made for Betsy McCall um, because she did have um, a little wardrobe uh, that you could purchase for her. So it could be her dress, but it, it might be a little bit big for her. So I don't know if this dress belongs to her, but it's a very good, um, a good dress for the uh, 50s. It does look 50s, and then it does have its, um, there's a little netting underneath. So I don't know if that's original. No other, uh, no, there's no pantaloons and no socks or shoes. Uh, she doesn't have any joints in her ankles either. She's in really, really good condition other than I think that she might have sustained um, a little bit of a haircut. Not for sure on that. I don't know if they made Betsy McCall dolls with really, really short hair. I know the bang thing is always, you know, they, a lot of dolls were made with very short bangs, so I'm not concerned about that. But I'm thinking that a little bit in the back here, yeah, I'm not for sure. Um, the other uh, Betsy McCall doll that I have that's this size, she's about 14 inches tall, um, she's got a lot of hair. So I'm not too sure if uh, this one has, looks like it has a little bit of a haircut here. Um, but all in all, she's in very good condition, very clean doll. Um, she does have a little bit of a um, marking down here on her foot. I don't know if you guys are able to see that in this light. But it's uh, nothing all that serious. It could be just from... Um, being stored or whatever, but um, not not a huge ordeal. Very, very good uh, condition for this doll. So um, I know that uh, that uh, she would have had a, a lot of clothes off to the side, but uh, one thing that I'm really looking for is uh, what she would have been sold in in the box and what she would have come with. And um, 
I don't find that online. I don't know if this doll would have been sold in a box. If anybody knows the answer to that question, please leave that in the comments for me. Because I, I don't know if these dolls were, were boxed or not. Um, all the ones I see online are free. Uh, uh, free on the shelf. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if they were sold in a box, uh, uh, a typical uh, brown box maybe with a cellophane over the front. I have no idea. So if anybody knows the answer to that question, please leave that in the comments for me. So this is another one of my Betsy McCalls. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.